Hi, I've finished another on the Women's Prize for Fiction long list. And this is what I've listened to on Audible. And it's Soldier Sailor by Claire Kilroy. Now this was poetic, it was powerful. And many times it seemed to be speaking to me. Um, does that sound silly? A monologue, stream of consciousness, a letter. It's totally ambiguous what form this is, whether she is just giving us a monologue, whether she's talking to her child, whether she's writing a letter to him. You are almost left to make up your own mind. And you don't also, also you don't know when she is doing this, whether she's talking to the child while he's in a pushchair or whether she's talking to the child at the end of her days or when he's a man coming to visit her or somewhere in the middle. You, you, you don't know. It's left to you to decide. Our speaker, we never told her name. She's talking to her child who she called Sol Sailor. Sailor. She always refers to him as Sailor. And she's telling him about the experiences of parenting him. And as a mother myself, there are so many instances in there that I could totally relate to. The tiredness, the exhaustion, the frustration when you're wanting your child to do something and he won't. And at the same time, you, you haven't got the energy because you are just so overwhelmingly tired. I could totally relate to that. You're having a, a child, you know, the way, way she says it, a child who doesn't sleep, who doesn't eat, who doesn't want to be put down. You know, having, <coughs> you know, being a mum, I could totally relate to that. It took me back 30 odd years to when uh, I was a new mum. Um, and you do worry about her when she's talking. You worry about this depression that seems to have taken hold of her. Um, and the way she, she describes herself constantly sniping at her husband, which also almost seems as though it's, it's going to fracture the marriage. And at the same time, I could totally relate to that as well. Um, you know, the days when you know, totally on her own when he's at work, um, left with this, this little bundle and having to do everything for this little bundle. And then her, her husband, he just comes home, sits in front of the TV. He doesn't change a nappy. He doesn't pick him up. He does. And she's, after being on her own all day, coping with this child, She's having to cope with a child and her husband. You know, he doesn't seem to take his share of the, the reins. Um, you could almost see her, you could see her anger because his career is progressing and hers has stalled. Um, she's not getting any work done at all. Um, so you could see, you could see that side of things. Um, then there are the incidents that she relates. There's a the time she lost him in Ikea. Um, but throughout all of this, there is humour and there's love. There's beautiful descriptions of her and her husband swinging their child, swinging sailor through the aisles. And he's dressed in a Superman outfit with a little red cloak sweeping behind him, laughing away and causing passers-by to laugh with him. And again, I could relate to that because my child went through a stage of wanting to wear a cape all the time. Um, uh, so I remember that stage very well. Then towards the end of the monologue, she talks so poignantly about the passing of time, which makes you wonder when she is setting this monologue. And it's a reminder to savour every minute. She, she's talking about almost the end of days when she's bedridden, where her son, as a, a balding chap, is visiting her. 
and this also and what is so poignant is that the fact that she reminds herself that within the man there is still this little boy it was such a lovely read and it it moved me in so many ways because it, it brought back memories from years ago for me. Um, there were bits I could relate to, bits I couldn't relate to because I never got to, you know, I, I could relate to some of it, but all of it. And it, you'll have to tell me what you think, where, where you think she is, where she is when she's doing this monologue who she's talking to, at what age Sailor is when she's talking to him. I thought it was super, absolutely. So that is Soldier Sailor by Claire Kilroy. Um, happy reading. Take care.